What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, so this is going to be a video that I actually haven't really, I think I've done a few voiceovers in the past like starting out, but um, I started a new program this week. So that's what the whole title of this video is about. Um, if you missed my, I, well, it's probably about two, three vlogs ago that I told you guys that I was going to be um, doing a new program this year in Omar East office, my coach now. So I am, uh, so my, my goals, I guess I should say, are to eventually do a powerlifting meet this year. I'd really like to do that. Um, and so Omar offered to, to help me out. So I'm going to be kind of documenting how I progress throughout the, uh, the, the whole, uh, well, however many weeks it takes to, to get to the, the point where I, where I'm happy. Um, and I guess to where the meat is, but still have yet to determine that, but I wanted to, to go over, I guess, uh, my, my progress through all of this You're You're watching day one of, uh, his program and, um, the, the whole, I guess, Deal from here is that we're going to start very very gradual and uh, work at a gradual pace and, and go towards uh, to being a stronger me which I'm, I'm really happy about and I want to want to be so um, this is going to be the, the first day and basically what happens is you know you start off I mean I, I could probably get 425 off the floor right now but my strength dips quite a quite a bit so uh, we had to start off um, this is going to be at 345 I believe. yeah 345 for for th uh, three but doing six sets at three reps is something i've never ever done before um even at a lower weight um i mean i'm, I'm used to working up to like a, a top set of like 405 or 415 and then just being done um and by the way all with all these guys i am um just gonna try to get you as many angles as possible but um, this is kind of just something I, I got an idea to do and I kind of want to put it out there. So uh, I'll, I'm a bit lazy right now, so I'm probably going to just give you guys the numbers if, you know, when I see them, but I'll have to kind of get my way around. I'm probably just gonna record my top sets for now or my working sets, but that's the whole point I was trying to get towards is that my working sets are at a weight that's pretty moderate for me and um, it's, really taxing i found this week omar has me uh benching twice a week or maybe three times uh squatting four times a week and deadlifting four times a week and um i'm recording this on day seven um of this this program which is, is six days a week so it's very um high frequency and um i can say that even at these moderate weights these lower weights i feel pretty exhausted for the most part and um, I'm not used to feeling that way at all. So um, it's a, like I said, it's a, it's a seven day, well, six day program. So I'm used to training every single day anyways, but I'm not used to training with a certain, I guess uh, you can say purpose. Um, pretty much just going in without an unstructured routine or program is definitely not the way to do it. Um, like I said earlier, I have goals this year to do a uh, to do a power meets or not power meets uh, a, a, a meet a powerlifting meet. So I want to be able to be as strong as possible, and um, I really want to figure out what again was the the cause of, of my strength loss over the past few weeks. Um, my squats pretty pretty much the same, but my deadlift dipped from about 455. I pulled 455 for a triple in October. And um, now it's really a struggle to get 425 off the ground for like a single or a double. So I really want to make sure that I, I figure that out and, and get things moving in the right direction. But I feel like the course of action that we're taking right now is the right course of action. Um, and these are new movements for me. These are Bulgarian split squats, which are absolutely killer. Um, some of these I'm doing for the first time and some of these I'm doing for the first time in years. And that was one of the mo movements that I'm talking about. So um, this is all obviously based on the same workout so benching squatting and deadlifting and doing awkward things like this <laughs> i haven't done these in forever and um i definitely learned um later on in the week how to do these actually correctly so those are the uh numbers from the end of of uh, day one now moving on to day two uh this one i can remember uh doing front squats is something i guess i'm, I'm familiar with but the the part in this workout i found most taxing for me i guess i i feel like i probably uh misjudged my rpe because i'm also supposed to do rpe training um an rpe based numbers in um, my programming now so this is 165 for a set of um eight reps and then doing it for three sets at that eight reps was to me definitely i i, I, I want to say it's an rpe seven but it felt like an eight or a nine 
um, and I know that that's going to be uh, dependent on how you're feeling for the day, a lot of other factors too, but maybe you guys can chime in and, and, and let me know um, based on the speed of the bar and how I look, uh, what these felt like. I know that they're not the most controlled, they could be a lot better, but quite frankly, it's, it's really hard to always be perfect with your lifts. Um, I have no idea why that was so fast, but um, after afterwards, uh, moving over into these are stiff-legged deadlifts, and again, I haven't done these in years just because of the uh, the hamstring doms I would get after this were absolutely out of this world and saying they were fucking nuts. So I haven't done these in a in a while. So um, I'm just kind of interested to see how uh, things I guess move in in terms of my accessory work. Um, this is supposed to be again, I believe, uh, just a set of three by uh, three, three by eight. So um, I wanted to get you guys again multiple different angles from um, everywhere, just based on on these. Uh, my deadlifts have always been very, um, I will just say, an interesting movement because I've I have really I have a rounded back. My back rounds naturally, so I'm uh, I, I I try to stay away from conventional movements. Um, these were supposed to be at an RPE. This is a three by eight sets of pendulum rows, and I constantly switch back and forth between underhand and overhand, and I can never figure out which one I like, um, which but which one suits me better. So this will be a work in process. I, I then found out that a three by eight at uh, a, a weight of 135 pounds is probably a bit too heavy, especially given the fact that this is supposed to be a, a uh, four or eight weeks of of easing into heavy lifts, and that was definitely not. Um, just not a, not a weight I should have been working at. So um, dumbbell rows afterwards. And again, you guys can see the numbers after um, I get uh, done with each day. Um, this is something that I really, really need to improve at. I'm supposed to do three by 12 of, of pull-ups and I can't even barely do three correctly. So I noticed that my pull-up and body weight strength always increases when I lose weight. And that's definitely not going to be happening right now. Uh, so uh, I, I believe i'm just going to be doing assisted work but i can i mean i i'm pretty happy with the fact that i can do some pull-ups actually i can actually do a pull-up uh chin-ups are the same i do find that that kind of just varies with my strength for the day um so that was the end of day two and then day three we're looking at bench now and um this was a day that was pretty easy for the most part i am working at a pretty low weight with bench right now um i believe that this was uh these were done um paused so you pause a little bit at the bottom and then you move up towards the top and these felt pretty smooth and i'm doing these with the suicide grip so when i'm doing pause work and i'm working at a lower weight percentage i'm not really that concerned with the, even if the bar did fall or it did uh, roll over on me. It's at such a, such a low weight that I'm not really concerned, even though I probably should be. Uh, the second thing that I wanted to point out to you with bench is that my feet, a lot of people tend to give me crap about my feet being um, not on the ground and they're elevated, but I find that I'm able to get actually engaged some leg drive that way. And I'm, I'm until I have someone that's, I guess, qualified to tell me that that's not really the right movement or the right way to place your feet i'm probably going to be staying at, at that for now um i honestly feel like my bench could be a thousand times better it really could be um i could probably be doing a lot more in terms of getting better leg drive and leg drive in just overall just benching more if i if i did different stuff but yeah i'm always open to criticism uh next is a three by eight of overhead press and this is done at i believe an rp of like seven so this is 105 for eight reps and then again three sets and so um i really again want to get this higher because this is a weight that i feel like i, I excel in i at my strongest a few years ago i was doing 175 for a double so i know that i i can get back to that point if i really just kind of give it my all but pressing strength is really hard to get if you're someone like me who has really 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 long arms um this is a three by eight actually 10 to 15 um three three by 10 to 15 um i went my reps kind of vary sometimes um i try to get 15 as much as i can but if i you know on a working set if i drop down to 12 or even get 10 i'm still happy because it's it's high rep new movement for me right here these are dumbbell skull crushers and they suck <laughs> try to do some dips and i was like no that's not gonna happen at all shoulder was not feeling it that day um face pulls and these were really really high rep this is like a two by 20 so i'm uh i like those a lot usually do them on a decline but those work really really well um so that was day three and then moving on into day four 
this was, my goodness, I felt so taxed this day. I can remember just warming up and being fucked. Like, I just, I... I knew that I it was it was a lot of stuff going into the day, but I really shouldn't be getting too I guess um, upset about that right now because I know that it's it's just it's gonna get better. Um, my my overall you guys will I go like in a recap at the very end of the video, but um, my overall energy every every day is much much better, even despite the fact um, well despite the fact that I'm, I've, I've gained a tremendous amount of weight, it's kind of just, you know, it's something that I, I'm, I'm happy about. I, I like feeling like a human being and I like having the motivation to go in and train now. So this is something that is, is something I'm, I'm happy about. And again, this is uh, working up to a top set of, I believe, 245 pounds. And in the actual programming, I'm supposed to be at 243 pounds, but my gym does not have micro plates, which I had to actually go order uh, two days ago on Amazon. So I'm expecting, I got one and a half pound plates and I got two and a half pound plates. So those will be coming in the mail, but I had to work at 245 pounds and I believe this is a, a four by five. And at the very end, you're supposed to get an, uh, an AMRAP. And I'm actually really stoked because it was right here, but I cut the shot down. I got 245 pounds for 10 reps. So I was happy about that for an, uh, for an AMRAP set. Um, and then after this or after that, it was just sumo deadlifts for 255 pounds for a um, six by three. So six sets at um, three reps each. So that is pretty much, I was not happy about how these felt. And I'm gonna jump from shot to shot and let you guys know that my stance is, I'm playing with my toes way, way out and way in, and my feet way, way out and my feet way, way in. And I can't find a, a stance that is that is optimal right now and it's really bugging me. Um, conventional deadlifts feel a lot better right now overall. Last but not least, spot press, which is a new movement for me, and I have never ever done this before. Essentially, you're just pausing about an inch or two above your chest and then just exploding up. So I like the way these felt, and I will definitely be including them still uh, because I'm gonna be following the program. <laughs> and then uh, this is gonna be the last day before I go to go into my actual talk at the very end of the video. But this is day five, and essentially what this day was was uh, pause squats, but like 10 second pauses. Like holy shit. I was definitely not ready for these at all. Um, I'm still really, I want it, like looking at this footage right now, it makes me want to switch to low bar squat. Just looking at how my back, even with no weight on the bar, still naturally rounds. Um, I feel like you guys pretty much, I don't really get a lot of, 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 of feedback from like people that are, you know, used to seeing people with back issues and stuff, but I've, I've have a really, really rounded back. So I just wanted to, to, to kind of put these up there for you guys and uh, let you know that these squats suck a lot. But they're uh, they're they're good for building strength, and um, I'm again putting my faith in, in Omar's hands, and um, just hoping that I can I can get strong again. Um, these are all 10 second squats, by the way, so 10 seconds just holding at the bottom and breathing. Um, but um, I can honestly say though, at the very end of all of this, that the end of week one, that this is definitely something I'm going to like because I like high frequency and I like really going and walking out of the gym feeling like you've 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 done everything you could do for that workout um and that's what this is is doing for me i want to be able to progress at, at things like this even though i have um i don't really feel like i have the most proportional body in the world in terms of like you know how i carry muscle how i activate my muscles i feel like i a lot of things are are weak for you know my, my body type uh, for example, I feel like I have a really, really, really wide back and I could have, like, I could be developed, you know, and, and have, like, an upper back and everything, but I, I don't. So I really want to uh, improve those things as well. Um, I want to improve the fact that these are <laughs> terrible chin-ups and I, I need to improve those too. But um, this is all work in process too. So I'm going to continuously try to get better at these and, and that's kind of the beauty of of being on a, on a structured program and, and, and all that. So I definitely have the uh, capability to to improve on all these things. And um, especially these, I actually dropped the weight on pendulates from 135 to 115. And again, switching back and forth between underhand and overhand um, while tra trying to keep my, my back as parallel to the ground as possible. And then the program called for actual seated rows um, uh, three by 12, but I wanted to do these unilaterally because I really like the way it, it, it hits my lat and I really started to drop my shoulder on these and found that it, it it feels so much better and I actually hit my lats and then this is just me trying to actually have arms. 
So, um, that's pretty much it for the first week, guys. I'm really, really excited for everything moving forward. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the, the voiceover. And um, I will uh, be back next time with uh, another voiceover. And here is the uh, news for cycling and stuff. See you guys. Well, now that I've got a quick second, and I'm almost home, and I uh, already outlined my workout and training plan for you guys, I thought I would shed some light on, on bike riding. And more importantly, what it's gonna look like moving forward, and I realize it's extremely windy right now, so I'm sorry. It's gonna be really important if I wanna gain strength this year that I keep cycling strictly for fun. Granted, on days when I do challenges, I'm probably gonna ride a few extra miles. But right now, I'm getting about 120, 130 miles a week, and my rides are lasting about 30 to 40 miles on average, which is pretty minimal. And it's windy. So that's my sweet spot. I'm gonna keep it there and uh, keep lifting heavy. Alrighty, guys. So I realize this is a really, really, really poorly like planned shot thing, but um, I kind of want to just close out the video and, and and let you guys know that I plan on doing these at least one time or at, at the end of every single week. Uh, just a lifting, like, like a comprehensive video, I guess. Uh, I want to say that I have never really been this, I guess, not really fatigued, but just kind of just like like in a good way just like I feel like I've gotten so much out of lifting this way doing these deadlifts and squats squatting four times a week deadlifting four times a week I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm doing both of those four times a week um, it, it frequency is something I've always adapted to really really well and I'm excited to see where I go with this now I am pretty sure I covered it in my voiceover for the video but I, I started relatively light and worked back to heavier weights like that's why I'm not starting off with like a four plate deadlift and going just balls to the wall right away because we want to take things gradual and be sustainable with all this and that's the, the biggest thing and, and Omar knows what he's doing and I'm putting my faith in, in his hands and everything um, my big thing right now is nutrition and everything it's odd because I started taking more of uh, a, a at least a higher dose of, of thyroid medication I'm actually kind of baffled at the fact that I have, I'm actually I'm not really baffled that it. it's just kind of interesting that I'm, I'm seeing more uh, I don't weigh myself but I, I noticed a lot more uh, fat gain throughout my body but you know what I feel a thousand times better um, I feel a thousand times better than I, I did this time last year and in fact I feel like a new person so it's it's great for me right now to just have everything um, you know dialed in in terms of feeling good and I know I'm gonna hit PRs and get to where I want to be I'm, I'm really just focused on, on getting stronger and that's gonna be my, my main goal for the year uh, getting better content out to you guys really broadening this second channel and making it really uh, something a lot more than just lifting and you know my thoughts and podcasts and everything so I want to make this just more of a priority for you guys nutrition wise I'm guys it, my my day-to-day -day diet is is really it's dense in fiber the probiotic that I started taking was really really crucial for me and I'm starting to think about what it actually did for me in terms of my gut health I feel like I'm probably processing a lot more of the nutrients that I was taking in 90% of my diet on on days I don't do my huge eating stunts is, is the fruit and vegetables uh, sure I have cereal but there are you know other things too I mean the main bulk of my diet consists of micronutrient dense foods I have to have these low calorie volume filled foods to to feel full um, lettuce cabbage all these things I don't really eat a lot of meat and so um, if I stall with my list and my progression starts to stall then I know you know okay it's time to to ramp up calories to uh, you know start including more fat it's really as simple as you know eating more peanut butter or eating more nuts or whatever it may take uh, to get more calories and you don't necessarily have to track your calories to eat more food it's not really that at all just taper down your activity or eat more food or both anyways everybody I uh, really hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope it wasn't that I guess it this wasn't like a typical vlog but I did want to make a end of week one video for you guys and I am excited for the coming weeks I'm excited to uh, show you guys where I go with this Thanks for checking out the video, guys. I'll see you next time.